Did you know that 78% of workers live paycheck to paycheck? No, we're not making this up. It's like that feeling of gasping for coffee every morning but a lot more stressful. That's right, more folks are counting pennies than there are people who confess they can't live without their morning cup of joe. Scary, right? But don't panic. We're here to help you escape this paycheck to paycheck life. So, what's this personal finance thing everyone keeps yapping about? Well, if life was a game of Monopoly, personal finance would be all about managing your Monopoly money wisely so you don't end up mortgaging your properties or worse, going bankrupt. Personal finance is essentially your relationship with money, how you earn it, how you save it, how you invest it and how you spend it. It's about making smart decisions to help you achieve your financial goals, whether that's buying a house, going on a dream vacation or retiring comfortably. Now let's break it down. First, there's budgeting. Think of it as your financial GPS. It helps you navigate your income and expenses so you don't take wrong turns and end up in debtville. Then there's saving. It's your financial safety net. It's like storing acorns for winter, but instead of acorns, you're storing cash for emergencies or future goals. Next up, investing. This is your ticket to growing your wealth. It's about putting your money to work so that over time, you have more of it. It's like planting a money tree and watching it grow. However, personal finance isn't all sunshine and rainbows. There are common misconceptions. Some think it's all about penny pinching or that investing is only for the rich. But that's like saying pizza is only for Italians. Everyone can and should get a slice of the financial freedom pie. In short, personal finance is less complicated than assembling IKEA furniture. You've got this. And if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more personal finance tips and tricks. You might think budgeting is like dieting, but it's more like planning your Netflix binge watch. Now let's put on our financial chef hats and get into the kitchen of budgeting. Budgeting is not about restricting your spending and eating only ramen noodles. It's about understanding your income and expenses and creating a plan that works for you. Picture this. You're planning a Netflix marathon. You wouldn't just dive in without knowing what shows are available, how many episodes you can realistically watch, and how much popcorn you'll need, right? Similarly, budgeting is about knowing your financial ins and outs and planning your spendings accordingly. Now, what are the ingredients for a good budget? First, you need to know your income, which is like knowing how many episodes of your favorite show are available. Next, you need to track your expenses, or how much popcorn and soda you'll consume during your binge watch. Once you've got these two, you can whip up a budget that fits your lifestyle. There are numerous tools and techniques out there to help you budget. From old school spreadsheets to modern apps that track every penny, choose what fits your style. Remember the right tool is the one you will actually use. It's like choosing between watching Netflix on your laptop or on a big screen TV. Both get the job done, but one might be more comfortable for you. Sticking to your budget might seem as hard as stopping after just one episode of a cliffhanger series. But here's a tip. Make your budget realistic and flexible. If you love dining out, don't cut it out completely. Instead, budget for it. It's like planning for that one guilty pleasure show in your watch list. And just like you might adjust your watch list based on new shows or changing interests, revisit and adjust your budget regularly. Your financial situation and goals will change, and so should your budget. Remember a budget is not a cage, but a trampoline to bounce towards your financial goals. Like a well-planned Netflix marathon, a well-planned budget can bring you joy and satisfaction without any financial hangovers. So, are you ready to plan your financial binge watch? Saving money isn't just a hobby for squirrels, it's a human thing too. Now squirrels might not worry about retirement plans or emergency funds, but they sure do know the importance of storing up for the future. And that's what we need to learn from them. Saving is all about stashing away a portion of your income for future use. It's like a safety net, or a cushion, or a squirrel's stash of acorns. Now you might be wondering, where do I start? Well, the first step is to build an emergency fund. This is a pool of money set aside to cover unexpected expenses like car repairs, medical bills, or a sudden loss of income. Think of it as your financial first aid kit. It's recommended to have about three to six months worth of living expenses in your emergency fund. Now, how do you build this emergency fund? One effective strategy is automatic savings. It's like setting a recurring alarm to remind you to save. You simply instruct your bank to automatically transfer a set amount from your checking account to your savings account every month. This way you're saving without even thinking about it. But where should you keep your savings? Under your mattress? In a jar? Well you could, but there are better options out there. 
High yield savings accounts and certificates of deposit, for instance, are excellent places to park your money. They offer higher interest rates than regular savings accounts, helping your money grow over time. High yield savings accounts are like the deluxe version of regular savings accounts, offering higher interest rates. Certificates of deposit, on the other hand, are like a locked box where you put your money, and the bank pays you interest. But there's a catch. You can't touch the money for a specified period without paying a penalty. Remember, saving is not about depriving yourself of present joys but about ensuring future comfort. It's a habit, a discipline, and it's definitely not just for squirrels. So start saving, because unlike your laundry, money doesn't multiply when left alone. Debt can feel like a monster under your bed, but with the right tricks, you can tame it. Let's talk about the common types of debt. There's the notorious credit card debt, student loans, and let's not forget mortgages. Each of these has its own set of challenges, but don't worry, we've got some tricks up our sleeve. First off, it's essential to know how much you owe. Create a list of all your debts including the lender, total amount of the debt, monthly payment, and due date. This will give you a clear picture of where you stand financially. Next, consider using the debt snowball method. It may sound cold, but it's pretty simple. You start by paying off your smallest debt while making minimum payments on the larger ones. Once the smallest debt is paid off, you move on to the next smallest, and so on. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill, gaining momentum. Or you might prefer the debt avalanche method, which is all about tackling the debt with the highest interest rate first. This method can save you a lot of money in interest payments over time. It's also crucial to prioritize high interest debt. The higher the interest rate, the more you'll end up paying in the long run. Lastly, avoid unnecessary debt. It's tempting to use credit cards for those impulse buys, but remember, if you can't pay for it in cash, you probably can't afford it. Remember, debt is like a bad haircut. It might take a while, but with the right steps, it will eventually get better. You don't need to be the Wolf of Wall Street to start investing. In fact, investing is not about fast cars, slicked back hair, or a smoky room full of stockbrokers shouting into phones. It's about taking control of your financial future and making your money work for you. Think of investing as hiring your money to do a job. Instead of sitting idly in a low-interest savings account, your money could be out there, working hard, and bringing back more money. Sounds cool, right? But where to start, you might ask? Well, the first step is understanding your risk tolerance. Are you a thrill-seeker ready to ride the highs and lows of the stock market, or more of a slow-and-steady-wins-the-race type? Knowing this can help you choose the right investment options for you. Next comes diversification. You've heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket, right? Well, the same principle applies to investing. By spreading your investments across a variety of assets, you can potentially reduce risk and increase returns. Finally, let's talk about some beginner-friendly investment options. Index funds, for example, offer a low-cost way to invest in a broad section of the market. Robo-advisors can automate your investment decisions based on your goals and risk tolerance. And let's not forget about retirement accounts, which offer tax advantages for long-term investing. So ready to be the lion of your financial jungle? Then start investing. Okay folks, we've covered more ground today than a kangaroo on a caffeine rush. We've unpacked the basics of personal finance, revealing that it's not some abstract concept, but a vital part of our everyday lives. We've discovered that budgeting is not about depriving ourselves, but rather about understanding our income and expenses. It's financial self-awareness, if you will. We've also explored the art of saving, proving once and for all that it's not just for squirrels or your granny but a fundamental part of preparing for life's unexpected surprises and future goals. We've tackled the beast that is debt, showing how with the right strategies it can be managed and reduced. And finally, we ventured into the world of investing demonstrating that it's not just for Wall Street wolves but an accessible way for us all to grow our wealth. Now go forth and conquer your finances. And remember we're here for all your finance queries and quibbles. Now don't forget to like this video if you found it useful. And subscribe to our channel to join us on this journey to financial empowerment. We're determined to help you take control of your finances, one video at a time. So hit that subscribe button to not miss out on any valuable content. Let's grow our wealth together.